here's a saying, looking for love in the wrong places. Um, so, so many times people who have been done wrong look for justice in the wrong places, if that makes sense. Um, and, and, and the, the ones that know the courts are corrupt, that, that's what they kind of like, um, how they rig the system. Um, I, I, uh, I, I, I can't even go into the amount of harm that was, um, done to me by, um, trying to go to court. Um, uh, j just, just the stuff, and I didn't know at the time that basically, um, the, the, um, lawyers are masons, the cops are masons, the, so the lawyers that are also the judges are the masons, and then, but basically there's a, uh, group, group of masons, if, if not, Jesuits, or, or, or something else, um, that, that basically are, um, in, in, into what is called the, the, the straw man accounts and stuff, and, um, And, um, I, I, I can't even, there, there just have been so many things that, that have happened to me. Um, but, but I think that that also deals with the fact that, um, G Jesus is the judge. J Jesus, um, Jesus is the mediator, Jesus is the king of all kings, Jesus is, and, um, I also wasted a lot of my time trying to think that, um, in a way I was the one that was delusional thinking that I could sit there and, uh, ch change something that I had no ability to change. Um, whether it be in the political arena or, or whatever else. And, um, when I came to the realization that, that there's something called po political science, that there's a certain science, there's certain equations that, that, that the ones that are kind of like the puppet, the puppet masters are doing, but behind the scenes and that, um, it just, it, it's just like, It was something that basically I needed to, to to see for myself if that makes sense, but but it also was a way for for God to let me come to the realization that um to 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 basically not not be unequally yoked if that makes sense, and and to um get get back on the path that God wanted me to be on. Um, there, there, there were times that, that, um, 
somebody would sit there and just stand up and talk about something. And, and, and then I, I, I would just like, <laughs> how absurd is that? that? They're basically saying this and I could just sit there and just see, see the, um, See the BS, if that makes sense. Um, that there was something that ended up, uh, yeah, there, there's just, uh, there, there's just so many different things that, that, um, So, so, so many times that the, the ones that were doing different things ma made a point of not giving me full disclosure. And, um, put, put me into kind of like a guessing game about this and guessing game and all that kind of stuff. And, um, There just were so many times that I've been retaliated against for for speaking out against different things. Um, but but I'm not I'm not saying that that, that that's that that's a good thing. But in a way, it's a good thing because it it kind of like. Let, 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 let me see the the ones involved as far as what they were actually doing. It would be things like all of a sudden I would just sit there and be getting bullied and everybody else would just sit in there and, and acting stupid about me being either verbally or physically or even spiritually attacked and just sitting there and a a acting dumb about it but but it also it, and then just the propensity of them to end up doing um the things dealing with um narcissism and 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 other stuff um <clears throat> And, and I just look at things, it's like, so, so, so basically, somebody wants to sit there and say that I did the right thing by, uh, confronting somebody on something, but yet, whoever it is, d didn't want to confront them, uh, and doing stuff, and I'm like, why, why the, why the cowardice I mean, I remember basically being told that I had to do stuff, and 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 it was like, but I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want to do that. And um, I would have to sit there and basically go, go through an explanation as to why I didn't want to do something and then once it once it's like oh crap um I I just I, I wasn't impressed with some of the stuff that I that, that I saw even when I was in elementary school just the um j just the things that were happening um, 
the, the amount of physical violence and stuff and that 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 was going on it's like when I was stabbed at school and then I talked to the teacher about it and nothing ever happened to who it was that ended up stabbing me and I talked to the uh I mean it's like why why are they allowing me to be stabbed? Why are they allowing me to be spit spit on? Why are they allowing um the bullies to throw rocks at me and, and that kind of stuff? And um Especially after I didn't want to go to school. <laughs> I, I, I have to laugh about it, but it, but, but there, there's also, a, um, thing where it's kind of like, I is it's like if I was a monkey inside of a cage and had my hands outside the bars and had them in fist. That that basically, I, and, and the door to the cage was left open. I couldn't uh, get get out of the cage if my hands remained uh, clenched as fist in the outside of the bars. And and, and what I'm getting at is sometimes it's kind of like you have to release whatever it is in order to pull the hands out of the cage in order to walk out of the cage um When I had so many different things happen to me, it's just like the stuff wasn't making sense. And it's just like the, the, the more I started reading different things and the more I read things in the area and took classes in the area of um, counseling, education, uh, psychology, as well as, uh, it ended up, um, going to seminary, I call it cemetery, I just look at the, at the stuff and just, um, I, I wasn't impressed with, with, with the, with the, with the ones that were behind the seminary schools, especially when they couldn't even uh, uh, explain um, what, what, what um, the, their beliefs were in um, the things like, is there a rapture, is there a pre-trib rapture, mid-trib, post-trib, and I was like, why, 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 why is it that they're pretending to be, it was kind of like, more of them in costumes, more of them in kind of like clown outfits, that, that it's like, and also, uh, there was a man who needed to get back uh, 
to where he had come from in order to go to um, the, the classes and not one of them that, that was uh, employed at the place was willing to chip in two cents to help the man get back to where he came from. Yeah, and all I could think of is how, how cold-hearted. And then it's kind of like the if if uh if a man asked for a fish who would give him a whatever but basically they 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 refused to take care of uh his needs and and uh treated him as if he was lying i mean what it, what it is is he had talked about having um seizures and many strokes and all that kind of stuff and his eyes were bloodshot and he was walking with a cane and could could barely even walk I mean that's that's just how how he was as far as stuff goes and um not not one of them at the uh like I say I call it the cemetery school ended up um helping him out But but it also reminded me. It's like J Jesus healed the sick. So why why did the so called uh, experts in 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 all this stuff? Why why was there there not any any evidence of, of what? But basically, Jesus was able to do. And it's like, and, and that's the reason why I think that many of them are, um, Many of the ones that are tied to the cemetery schools are uh, Vatican operatives. J just, just like one of them that that uh, was having some sort of cl class on something, and I thought. Why, why, why the propensity to to not not stop the crimes that were being talked about? Basically, he was in a position to be able to stop stuff. Why, why just sit there and be, be selling books? Be you know uh, char charging people to have to listen to them and and. Um, It's kind of like, well, instead of people just talking about how they've been raped, why not stop the rapist? And then that's just it. It's just kind of like Michael Moore with his movies and stuff. Um, what, what some of them do is they sit there and then they have some sort of, um, movie or something and, and, and they basically take, a, take unfair advantage of people and, uh, as, as far as like, uh, the different hardships that have happened to people and, and then basically it's kind of like Michael Moore, uh, after he knowingly but basically says in order to be in one of my movies you have to um sign this piece of paper and, and then basically the the way that he has premeditatively cut stuff up is is it basically he's he's making um m money off of um he he he's being 
compensated for for being basically self serving and, and and leaving them w w with crumbs. It is the way that I look at it. And, and instead of going, uh, I have the equipment, I have the gear to go ahead and and do this and this and this. Um, what? Why don't we? Um, what? Why don't we have it so? Um, if I spend my time exposing what what's actually going on, then basically, um. I'll, I'll 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 show you the books and I'll show you what con what what came in and then we can um split split up the amount equally if that makes sense. Which which also deals with uh, J Jesus basically saying woe unto the hypocrites, and that's just it. I I see Michael Moore as a hypocrite. My, my name's not Jesus, but what I'm saying is that uh, that that to me is, is is obviously somebody that that when Jesus comes to do judgment is going is going to be going uh uh did didn't 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 already say uh woe unto ye hypocrites. Uh, what about that? Didn't you understand? Uh, I mean, I mean, I I, I can just uh, and, and there's somebody that ended up doing something dealing with uh, but basically the return of Jesus. Um, and it's it's just um, there there there's some di different people who have, have had some very powerful and refreshing things um that that, that um are, are getting out to people which is bright people are 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 basically seeing the uh, pre-planned protest as some, somebody that that is like one of them who is planning stuff and um just going uh -uh, I'm not going to a protest are you kidding me um and and, and that's a good thing more and more people are waking up going uh. -uh. And, and some of the ones that sit there with their bull horns and their stuff and saying that they're straight preaching, I'm like, well, I I, I don't think that that going around and and yelling and screaming at people through a bullhorn is uh it is what people should be doing if that makes sense. Basically, that, that that never appealed to me at all. And, It's just gross that so many different things are happening. It's just being done right out in the open. I mean, it's just kind of like the uh, prostitution and stuff that goes on, like in uh, Las Vegas, and and basically uh, the ones that are that, that are into that stuff are basically saying things like it's just kind of like a 
menu that I can tell them whatever I want. And they'll bring it back to me by such and such a time. I'm like, that's just gross. Why would you even be doing something like that? But but to them, it, it's kind of like, uh, it's like what uh, Robert here uh, hit the nail on the head about. And, and even some of the ones uh, as far as uh, um, making parallels to the Bible as far as uh, the propensity to have the entitlement attitude. It's like if, if that was if that was your little sister or if that was your mother, if that was your aunt or if that was your grandmother, would you like somebody looking at a menu and going, hey, this is what I'm in, in, entitled to have because I have a certain amount of cash in my pocket. And it's just like... But but that again is is also an example. Don't, don't be unequally yoked with them. It's kind of like when I was learning how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, uh, the tricycle had training wheels on it, and the training wheels were taken off, and then I was riding a tricycle, and then had a bicycle with, uh, but, 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 but basically there were just different stages, and then eventually I was able to end up riding a bicycle without having, having to have any of the, D different things on it and then it's just like well when I ended up falling off the bicycle I had to get myself pick myself back up again In fact, I have scars in my body where I ended up hurting myself and had to have gravel taken out of my leg in the emergency room and stuff. And, uh, but it basically reminds me of some of the th things that I've gone through. And, and scars can be physical, they can also be emotional. But the, but the thing is, is um, it, it, even with things as far as like anger and stuff and bitterness, it, it, can, act, it can be like battery acid and eat, eat you alive. The, the, the thing to do is to, 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 But basically, like the uh, saying, a dog returning to its vomit, just don't be like a dog returning to the vomit and just um, just release it, if that makes sense. It's just like the ones that, that, that have hurt me. They, they knew when they were hurting me. No doubt in my mind. And and some of the other stuff that they've done. But but uh, I, I've already confronted some of them and what they've done and all that kind of stuff. And the, they, they, they already knew ahead of time when they made a conscientious decision to, to harm me. Whether it be physically, uh, emotionally, uh, spiritually. And the thing is, is um, the, 
best thing to do is just, um, not, not put your fist, not clench your fist. In fact, there's ties as far as like the gallbladder and stuff and, and, uh, the, uh, the acids and stuff building up. And that's just that, um, I have to, have to get rid of the anger. I, I think that anger can end up being kind of like battery acid and, and eating you alive. I know that might sound bonkers, but it's like, I mean, I had one guy sit there and throw a computer that I had away. And I told him, I said, I, ne I, ne I never said, said that you had permission to end up doing that. I never consented to that. And then just like other ones, and I'm like, don't, don't, don't call me being forced by consent. So, so basically, it's like I've, I've, I've said what I have to say, and um, even though my name's not Jesus Christ, as I've been yelled at, Jesus Christ, what the hell do you want, and 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 that kind of stuff. It's like um. D dust my feet off and keep going. Just like when they hit me from behind and were physically violent and stuff. Um, they, they knew what they were doing. They knew who was behind what they did and all that other kind of stuff. And, um... I mean, if they think that that kind of stuff is funny, are they are they gonna think that kind of stuff is funny when when it happens to to their mama or to their grandmother or to their aunt or to whomever else? No, I'm not gonna sit there and do that to 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 to, to their mama, their aunt, their your sister, their cousin, whatever. But but all I'm getting at is um. That that also deals with 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 don't ever, even if they've been violent towards you, ne never get into the violence as a solution. And, and I ended up doing something I shouldn't have done. And basically, God had a way of basically going, don't, don't, do, don't do to them what they've done to you. That basically, that was a low blow for me to have done. And it's just kind of like, just, um... But basically, they know that they know when when they're provoking. They know when they're enticing. They know when they're um, instigating and stuff. Don't don't get don't 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 uh, just, just see them for what they're doing. Walk away from them. Don't don't have contact with them. Um, 
just look at it as a, it's kind of like being in a bumper cart and all of a sudden running into them and all of a sudden getting bumped back and then and then taking the steering wheel and then just going into a, a different direction and, and and avoid and avoiding them I mean I remember going in and riding those bumper carts and and it's just like <laughs> Why is that one just consistently just bing 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 just just uh just and then and then all of a sudden the the um once one of them would just sit there and get uh just start attacking me all of a sudden it's just like I was just surrounded by a uh, a bunch of them just going blah and uh and, and, and just look in their eyes and and it's just like. I, I think I've had enough of the bumper card rides. <laughs> I, I really have to laugh about it, but it's it's kind of like, um, oh, oh, at it, it one place where I ended up working, that they were into the gang mentality of, of basically, uh, I, I, instead of, um, But, but basically, get get everybody in a whole group to attack somebody, and I I was like, uh, that that's not what I think is is a good idea, and it's just like, uh, well, well, that's the philosophy of of where you're where you're working. Uh, either adopt it or or hit the hit the road, Jack. Uh, and, and I just look at, at the stuff. I'm like. Uh, j just, just, uh, I mean, who would imagine that? It's kind of like being like a pack of animals and, 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 and thinking that, 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 uh, It's justified for a pack of animals to, uh, gang up on and, and, and emotionally abuse somebody. I mean, that's basically what they were doing. I was like, ugh. I, I was glad to leave that place. I really was. Especially when I saw what, when what, what they were actually up to and... And, and that kind of stuff. I, I can't even go into the full details as far as what happened at that place. But that's also part of the reason why I, I don't, why, why, why I can see past the, the, um, why, why, it's kind of like, oh, so, so how many hamburgers did they actually flip in order to, get that gigantic house how, how many uh and and uh and go on the lavish vacations and uh do, do whatever um but basically how many people did they screw in order to 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 get what they got that's the reason why michael moore doesn't impress me uh joyce myers doesn't impress me kenneth copeland doesn't impress me that uh, Joel Olstein does not impress me. Um, the 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 ones that are calling themselves preachers uh, uh, don't impress me. The ones calling themselves uh, professors don't impress me. Um, and, and it's just like. Um, I, 
I, I, I could go into some other things that just don't impress me, but my point is, is, um, just like the guy that ended up buying either the pharmaceutical company or the drug rights to the, um, whatever the, the drug was that was supposed to help people out with autoimmune disease and just look in his eyes. It's like, I mean, to, to intentionally increase the price, just like with what they're doing with gasoline, with food and other stuff. It's like, uh, I mean, it, it's, uh, and not only that though, it, it's, uh, I think it's, I think the correct phrase for it is like the basic staple. So, so basically, eggs, loaves of bread, milk, uh, gasoline, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, j just all this different stuff. I mean, it's just like, and, and even, even, um, Just basically the intentional, um, and premeditated starving of people is what it boils down to. In fact, somebody ended up writing a book called, um, Execution by Starvation. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, um, why not, why not call it what it is, um, And that's, the, um, the, the, the world is, uh, ruled by serial killers. 